Yes, sir. Yes, hi, I have two questions for Christy. Uh, the first is a, a lot of talk on Beacon Hill about payment reform, global payments, et cetera. Are we gonna see that sort of initiative come out of your agency? And the second question is, um, in Massachusetts, Secretary Bigby is leading up the implementation of the Federal Act at our state level. And are there any tools that you have, maybe a website or whatever, that we can see how other states are doing and what else they're doing? Um, um, first question, um, related to proposals that are um, have been made and are expected soon here um, by the Patrick administration. Um, I will say that one of the major differences between uh, 2006 and 2005 and now is that there is a pretty clear alignment of agenda um, for cost containment and payment reform uh, between the, um, the provisions of the Affordable Care Act, the, the priorities of the Department uh, of Health and Human Services, and what's been discussed here, for, struggled with for many years here. Um, there are tools that include the, um, CM, the, the new Center for Medicare and Medicaid Innovation, the Innovation Center at CMS. That's pretty clearly where the locus of so many of what has been a history of demonstrations and pilots, which continues, um, will be um, uh, processed and analyzed and proposed. There is a great spirit of um, tell us what your ideas are um, so that they can be tested and uh, transferable or generalized um, more broadly throughout the system. So I think those tools that include an, an investment on the part of the department um, really focused within CMS on um, demonstrations and pilots and um, really hearing from states what, um, what uh, types of experimentation or innovation may, may work for them. So certainly um, much more, much more uh, in terms of resources and really a statement of policy priorities provided under the Affordable Care Act.